In Uganda today, many companies with a small or corporate have embraced the idea of corporate social responsibility to contribute towards better livelihoods, human rights and environmental integrity. However, this has mostly remained theoretical with companies abusing the trust of consumers, employees and employers. This has dragged development backwards, according to Ethics Minister Father Simon Lokodo, who says that without ethics, corruption and poor accountability will destroy any available economic stability. Now, this is going to manage the manufacturing, the production harm of the society in Uganda. We want to compete with the market, but if someone is not doing this properly, we end up getting you know, crude material getting out of the country, and then we are blacklisted. But what does the Code of Ethics for the private sector entail? Sewagala Chigozi, the Executive Director, Uganda Manufacturers Association, explains. Respect for you, the worker, the worker to the boss, the producer, the proprietor of a given business to the general public, who are the consumers, the clients of what the services we give, the products we produce, integrity. When you are dealing or you busy in your business, how respective are you to your own business? Frank Seboa, the executive director of Uganda Investment Authority, condemns the quick profits mentality, saying that without respect across the value chains, business cannot grow. These five companies have not complied in this. That company, the private sector, and I worked there for many years, fear that more than even will give you a, pen, a fine of 100 million. They fear their image. The image is the main tool that you must associate with this code of ethics. This undertaking is in conjunction with the German government, which believes that having a code of ethics for the private sector will go a long way towards mending the broken economic sphere and ensure an accountable manufacturing sector.